Hello guys and welcome to 3 from 1 with Carrie Berry. This is the first one in the series of 3. And this is on Cliff and he's in the stand at B. Carrie Berry is one of my favorite streamers through all times. He's down to earth, he's a very good player, he's entertaining. And he's really always in a good mood. Almost, almost in a good mood. He's not a rage potato, if you know what I mean. So, let's see what he can do here. He sent me this one, one last one, and he said it was a game for a tree marking, the standard B. I don't have the standard B, but I do like that line where I made it to so far, to be honest. When we get a second, we'll go with the specs. First, we'll see here on Cliff what he decides to do. It's always somebody crossing. First one in. Can you actually get more in for free here? Yep. Actually, this lion has a very good gun, I think, at least. Good precision, has nice speed. It's kind of bouncy in the right position. In many ways, it's just a nice tank. So, better get my ass over there and grind up to the tier 10. Don't actually remember how far I'm from, so I'll have to look that up. Let's run over the stats real quick. Penetration is 268, 330 out of 105. Average damage is 360. It has three shots in the clip. The average clip damage is in six seconds, 1080 damage. 221 aim time, 0 0.34 dispersion. And of course, it has 65 kilometers an hour top speed. Which is nice, 20% gun elevation, 10% gun depression. So that was the numbers. And Barry is up here to 1,469 damage. It's 2 to 0, the teams. His team is about 1,500 ahead. So it's pretty much dead even. Matchmaking is actually quite good. There's a lot of damage to be dealt here. Last one didn't go in, so it's up to 2200. Hmm, I like his team position. The only problem is they could come behind him in a second. I think Barry's aware of that. Unfortunately, the one two lighting is pretty heavy with his team. T10 they could definitely use up here. The 430 could also be a contender to the backside at the 899. It's actually Barry getting up here. I think Barry will get up here to the lighthouse. That would be very nice. Because they're kind of screwed in the middle here. It seems like most of the team is here. So if the 1-2 line doesn't react or carry will carry. I think they're pretty screwed. They'll just be crossfire to smithereens. So he got the full clip now. Let's see what he can accomplish here. There is the first one. Bad chap. Try some of the first shot. Gonna get one more in. You have to be cautious with the bad chap all the time. Oh, precision is pretty nice actually on this one. So, that was a full clip in. Brings him up to 3500. Not quite sure what it takes to tree mark this one actually. It's a 10 9, so. I guess probably it's around the 3500 mark combined. Uh, Barry's in a world of trouble here if they decide to push him, which they don't. Nice shell velocity. Not quite sure what he can do here, Barry. He can just load a full clip, peek, shoot. I mean, if they decide to push him, he's pretty screwed. Talking about numbers, guys, if you have any idea how to gain more followers, as I'm pretty steady at 2500, I would of course like to grow the channel. Let me know some ideas in the comments or come on Discord and tell me about it. I really enjoyed the support you guys have shown on Discord, so thanks for that, all boys and ladies. Very kind of you. And it's also very nice to have a community feeling. So, he decided to go up the 430 to Barry. It's not full life. Barry is almost. 
can get just one or two in for free, that will be excellent. But it's not the best tank. The 430 is pretty nasty, actually. He gets the first one in. That was a nice shot. Very nice shot. I think we're gonna play uh, Let's Run Around the Pole Dance here. Meanwhile, his team has melted away, so it's 7 to 11. So, Barry wanna win this one, I think he's on his own. He takes one shot from the 430, and he actually managed to get him out. This is a bigger problem. We get Ardid and a shot from the Batcha AP. And also the GV Tiger, of course, gets a good one in. But meanwhile, his own Ardy managed to take out. Exactly, the Batcha. That was good timing. Thanks to the Ardy. So Carabao is bleeding pretty bad here. 25 HP left. But I have faith in you, Barry. If anybody can do it, it's you, man. I actually had some of my best games with very low HP because then all of a sudden I have to play really <laughs> smart. So I also have some of the worst games, of course, but let's not talk about them. The bear is up to 5,922 damage, 134 assists, so this is definitely good for the gun mark. But 10 to 12. So he got a carry pretty good here if he wants to take home this win. Uh, well, it's 10 to 13 now. And here's a Conqueror. That would be very nice to get him out. There he goes. The third kill, carry. 6,500 damage. Decides to go away. He's now alone. Team melted there, totally. Should have waited just a second. Then it could have been a 5 versus 1 situation. But, uh, of course, that's not how we play. There's some pretty nasty tanks here. One went in cap. I'm gonna guess it's Centurion 7 1. This is a very fun tank to drive, by the way. So, yeah, there he is. Can he shoot him without being spotted? That would be excellent. Probably don't have six cents on that Centurion. Wow, where to go? Oh, the last one was a good roll, so up to 6,800, and here is the Type 5 Heavy. Load the gold. It's also up to 4 kills, and he's gonna go see if he can take out the Ardis first. As the Type 5 Heavy is gonna be staying there for a while before it caps out, it would be nice to uh, turn out the lights for the Ardis. That's the first one. That was unlucky, GW. Time to get behind him, Roxbury. No shots from the other one? Doesn't sound like it. He also didn't spot him, though. Well, he's likely to be somewhere in that area. 53... F oh, there he is. He knows he's spotted, but not from where. So here we go. Six kill. It's up to 7,799, and I also believe that he hit the blind shot before. This has been a very good game. If you can uh, take out that Type 5 heavy, I uh, would say that he absolutely deserved the carry bear name. I'll of course put his link at the bottom here, so go support him on his stream. Say hello from Alphas. First one in. Did he get spotted there? Actually not. Of course, if the Type 5 Heavy hits anywhere in the same postal code, he'll be dead, so he has to be very cautious there. Well, he reset him, so let's see if we can get one more in. He needs two more in to finish him off. Two penning shots. There he is. Nice. Oh, of course, no, I said two, but um, nope. That was just a no. And the last one bounces, of course. So he's down to a one shot. Let's see if we can actually manage to pen him. Changing position here. It's up to 8,852 damage. Six kills. Wow, <laughs> he just got spotted there.
This is pretty interesting. I do hope he gets some, of course. That would be well deserved. There he is, the Houtini guy. Did he spot him again? That? Yeah, of course he did. Don't underestimate the spotting power of the Type 5 Heavy guys. It's a pure spotter. Will he be able to outspot him here at least? There he is. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That was very well played, Barry. You were indeed the carrier there. I really enjoyed that game, so let's go have a look at the stats. So of course you got the master for that. Cribble Cravel and he actually managed to get the third mark there, which is excellent. He got the Pescucci's for the two enemy SPGs. He got the Lucky, High Caliber, Top Gun, Tank Sniper and Defender. He did hit that blind shot and managed to rig up 9,082 damage and 7 kills. He did get a minus 5,662. I think that was pretty unavoidable in this game. He managed to rig up 7 bonds. And of course base XP is 1,878. What a nice game Barry. Thanks a lot for that one. I'm looking forward to the next two. And I'll see you guys soon. English one or the Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four-door truck. There's one on the right on the left there. We don't wait for